It seems like harvest was just yesterday, but already it is time to start thinking about planning for this fall. Here to talk about that and particularly about canola is research and extension economist Eric DeVeest. Eric, let's talk about the market. How is canola looking in terms of prices right now? Well, canola looks really strong for this, this coming year. It was strong last year. We got a lot of producers that uh, got 12 bucks a bushel last year. We're looking at 13 bucks right now and, and expecting those, those uh, forward contracts are coming right in right now at 13 bucks for next July. Now, aside from that, that price, which is obviously very good, what is it about canola that makes it such an attractive crop to you as an economist? Well, there's a lot of things we like about it. It adds some diversification to any, uh, any wheat grower's rotation. We like that. Um, but right now, the markets are calling for two things. One, they're, they're calling for oil seeds, and they're screaming for clean wheat. And canola gives us both of those with one product. You know, we, we, the research shows that it, it improves the wheat yield, and it reduces the foreign matter and the dockage on wheat, and so we're, we're fans of it here at Oklahoma State. Very good. Now let's talk about what happens with pricing when you actually put wheat and canola together. You've actually done some numbers for that. Yeah, when we, when we budget that out, right now, um, you know, a producer, they're going to get more, they're going to have more in production costs on this canola, but it's a high value crop. Um, a lot of our producers this year, well, this year and next are looking at over $500 of revenue an acre. Uh, with canola, and that's that's pretty pretty good for an Oklahoma typical wheat producer. Um, so when we budget the numbers out, when we're looking at a two-year rotation or a three-year rotation, whether we're looking at single-purpose or du or dual-purpose wheat, our producers are looking at a rotation increased returns of thirty to sixty dollars an acre when they add canola to the rotation. That's very good. Now for guys who are, who are going to go ahead and put some in this year, what are some considerations they might be thinking about right now? Okay, well, um, as I talked with a bunch of seed reps last week, there's some newer, high-yielding hybrids out there, and they've got limited quantities of that seed. So if you're looking at growing some of these hybrids, you want to get it, you want to get that seed secured right now because we're looking at September 10 is, a, is your starting planning date under crop insurance, and so we're just over a month away. Second thing, um, as canola really is a higher input cost than typical wheat production, you want to get crop insurance on it. And the crop insurance deadline for canola is earlier than it is for wheat. So if you're going to grow canola, you want that insurance, August 31 is the deadline that you want to, you want to be thinking about. Um, you need to get into your agent before then, so you can be looking at the options that are available to you and decide before the 31st what you're going to run with, what works best with you, for you. All right, so really something they need to be doing right now. Yep, they need to be doing that right now. So now one other thing to think about is, of course, nitrogen. And you've got some numbers on the different types of nitrogen that really can save producers some costs. Yeah, so our two primary sources are urea or anhydrous ammonia. Um, the plant and soil science uh, uh, researchers are saying you don't want to put down more than a half in the fall, so they recommend a third to a half of it pre-plant in the fall, and then you come back, check your enriched strip in early uh, next year, decide how much from there you're going you're gonna to put on as side dress or top dress. Anhydrous ammonia, as opposed to urea, is running less than 50% of the cost per pound of N. So you're going to want to use that anhydrous ammonia to the extent possible. If you're in 22 or 30 inch rows, next spring when you come back and put, put on, side dress it with anhydrous. Um, if you're in 15s, that's more of a challenge. But either way, use as much anhydrous as you can and you're going to save dollars doing that. All right, good information as always. Eric DeVeest, agricultural economist here at Oklahoma State University.